Hi guys and welcome to my trophy achievement guide for the Overdesign 2. I do apologize about the way I sound, I am a little bit sick, but this video I'm going to show you step by step the easiest way to get this trophy and we're going to start by showing you exactly where we are. Now I haven't seen any videos on this, I haven't looked at how to do the guide, I got an email this morning from someone explaining exactly how they did it, so I thought I might as well do a guide that's easy enough for even Al Massive to be able to do it. I think I owe you that one Al. Okay, so we are in the south southwest down there. As you can see, we're outside the gates at the moment. So what we're going to do, we're going to head inside. If you can't teleport inside, then you're going to have to sneak past the first guards to actually do the strategy. But once you're inside, the biggest problem I had was once you initiate the attack, everyone starts to attack you. So I'm going to show you how to get around this. First of all, you need to get the missile reversal skill, and that's going to be on the southern part of your skill tree. This is vital to the strategy. Then what you want to do is go to your inventory and equip all of the fire resistant runes that you have as well as elite resistance as well as range resistance because they're going to be throwing you with a lot of arrows and a lot of spears and all the resistance you can have will definitely help that's also if you don't have a lot of rations then this will help immensely as well so as you can see here i'm not going to show you all of them but you get the idea fire resistance uh, range resistance and elite resistance is the top ones you want to go for, make sure you have full rations, not necessarily fully upgraded, I just mean the most amount that you can carry, because that's going to be happening a lot as well. So, at the start, as you can see, oh, I'm not feeling well, guys, sorry. But as you can see here, there's an elite right there, there is an elite down there, and two of these guys are completely glitched, I'll talk about that in a second. There are two at the front gate, right over there, and those are the two we're going to be using at the start, and then we're going to have to move to some other ones. For the glitched reasons so like i was saying before the biggest problem i had was uh, everyone else attacking me while i'm doing this so to make this even easier i went around and took out all of the enemies that weren't at the front gate area uh, even the elite guys because there's more than enough more than three and there's no time limit you can do two elites now then one tomorrow if you wanted to and the trophy will still pop i think but the point over here is to take out all the archers to take out as many enemies as you can without alerting the front gate just yet and there's an archer up here and this guy killed me a couple of times he'll shoot you from across the entire uh, encampment so i thought yep yeah, let's go around and take them all out and making this a lot easier so in the end it was just the elite guys the heavy shield guys that i had attacking me and it made life a lot easier okay so i'm not going to show you all of this let's skip ahead now I'm heading to my left is the gate area. Let me show you where we are. We're heading towards the gate. That is where the two elites are. There's an elite there. Elite to my left, elite to my right. They're pretty much everywhere. And we're going to be moving around. There's another elite straight ahead, as you can see. So we're going to head to the front gate. And uh, we're going to start creating some trouble. So there was one more archer here. I've got to take out. Let's take him out. we go two dells i'm pretty sure you'll get this owl following this but uh, there's an elite over there just in front of the church i think it is so we're going to start this attack so again <clears throat> making sure you've got all your rations full as you can see there i didn't so we'll collect that and then uh, i want to show you the glitched what happened here <laughs> save your game right there not a bad idea so i thought okay well let's get this guy to come to the gate with the other two making it three but no this SOB wanted nothing to do with me. As you can see, I think I do take off my hood, but <laughs> I'm running into this dickhead and he's not moving at all. He doesn't want to know that I'm here. As you can see, it's still saying silent attack, so he hasn't actually noticed me. So skipping ahead, I'm going, screw you, I'm going to my gate. We're going to head to the gate uh, down here. And uh, luckily, they actually detected me because, I mean, Jesus, I did knock the guy over. <clears throat> there we go. That's what you want. Now, we're going to head to one of the thatched roofs in this area. I chose... I'll still try to get him in here. I don't know why I'm going back here. I want to go to the roof on the right. There we go. Get this guy as well. There we go. There we go. Now, I use this roof over here because I could guard myself from the guys at the gate. And I'm pretty much going to circle around the top of this roof and... 
only get thrown spears at by the two at the gate or the guy on the right hand side here. So here we go. You are constantly on fire. And now you've got to wait for them to throw spears at you. They won't always throw spears. They might throw the firebombs. But uh, it's okay. All you have to do to get the achievement is kill them without breaking the shield. And so as you can see here, the firebomb throws back. Now, if you're unsure if you've killed them with a certain throw, just watch the top right-hand corner of the screen. If you get experience, then you know you've killed them. Now, you might notice, as I'm throwing, it doesn't hit the shields. And that is the beauty of this method, that it doesn't break the shields. So, I mean, I could sit up here when I was thinking about it, when I was editing it, so I could shoot them with my arrows as well. Because they do show their feet and a bit of their head behind the shield. So you can shoot them with the arrows, just don't hit the shields. Not that the arrows will break the shields anyway. But as you can see now, the one guy's glitched. He's staggering behind his shield. Just missed him. <laughs> now he throws, but I'm not looking. As you can see, you can see the icons from what direction it's coming. Now he decides to throw at me and the other guy doesn't. So here he is again. Now you can see the experience in the top right corner. Nope, not killed yet. Wait for him to throw again. And here we go. Although I don't think this kills him. Very good throw back, I must say. Here comes a spear. And if you look on the top right hand corner, that will be kill number one. Here we go. Now this guy as well. Kind of glitched on me. I need to jump down, try to get his attention with an arrow. Only scared a civilian. Didn't work for me at all. So we're going to jump down think. I mean, I'd be afraid as well if I was being killed, me and my friends were being killed by someone who's perpetually on fire and doesn't seem to be bothered by it. Here we go. Now he's active again, trying to just shoot next to him. So yeah, I could have just shot him because I'm not breaking his shield. So you can actually shoot him with an arrow, but I thought I'd just go with the missile reversal. Although, like I said, if I was doing it now, I probably would shoot him just to see if it works. I mean, these guys will reset the second you come back or we'll leave the area and come back. So there we go. The problem with uh, staying on fire on the ground is that it's such a short period of time, which is why the roof burning is such an awesome idea. And the person who told me about the strategy in the email did not want it to be, did not want to be mentioned or anything like that. So uh, I can't get a shout out, but it definitely wasn't me. There we go. That is when I thought the trophy had popped, but that was only my second kill. So I'm standing there waiting for it to pop and nothing happens, John, because I can't count. So we're gonna head over to the other area where we will find another glitched heavy elite shielded soldier and uh, he wants nothing to do with me at all luckily i did leave one of those archers alive this guy again he's pointing at me i'm like yes me get me and he just doesn't want to fucking i'm surprised i didn't kill him in the end i thought i might as well have him knocking around in case uh, i do run out in the end maybe if i shoot him it'll help this guy over here <coughs> We're going to light the roof on fire over here first. That's where we're going to be killing him from. And this guy didn't want anything to do with me as well. Completely and utterly glitched. My hood's off as well this time. And they do not notice me. But luckily, I left an archer over here on the left-hand side. Nope, he doesn't want to see me. I mean, come on. I mean, I, I switched from PS4 to PS5 and I auto-popped about 23 trophies. But the PS5 version is so much more bugged than the PS4. Luckily, this guy had some eyes and forced this guy to start getting aggro as well. There he is. You can see he's getting all active. So we're going to jump on the roof just like before. And we are going to ignite ourselves. And I'm thinking, okay, here we go. And here comes my spear. And one is good. And then I push him into an area where he can't hit me. I mean, <laughs> the luck just wasn't with me at all. So I'm thinking, here comes my trophy. And no. I'm like, oh, here comes my trophy. No. <laughs> Shit. So I move a bit to the right. Spoon feeding this dick. And there we go. The quietest trophy pop in the history of trophy pops. So there we have it, guys. If you have any questions at all about this trophy, hit me up in the comments. I'm always going to reply to the most popular videos. And uh, I want to say, there you go, Al. Let me know if you get this trophy. This video is for you. So, guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I want to catch you on the next one.